The day I'm recording this is the day that everybody's hype in Paper Mario the Origami King died. Hey everybody, it's Mathwiz, and welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last episode, we made it back to Toe Town where everything is kind of... dead right now. Shy guys have been running amok and taking everybody's items. In this episode, I'm going to go make sure they take more items before I... start things. For example, heading in here. Uh... Oh no, poor me. Mario, way to show that little hooli hooligan a thing or two. Hooray, thank you so much. I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices, so don't be a stranger around here. Man, if only everybody else was like... Even is the animation that Mario is doing with this? I'll switch my bads. Blah. It's been a while since I've recorded because a lot of things have been happening. Of course, that means that my already inability to speak is even worse. We're heading to the other shop is where I missed something. Yeah, this shop. Hey, you! Thief! Oh, Mario, it's you. A shy guy stole my storeroom key. I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? So, yeah. I'm basically just going around making sure that I have triggered everybody's items being stolen. What the hell? Oh, kids. So young. So innocent. So stupid. Alright, I'm pretty sure that I have gotten everybody's stuff triggered. Meaning that we can now do something really stupid. So, I have looked everywhere, and there, as far as I'm aware, is no indication that this is what you're supposed to do in order to activate the next chapter. I haven't found anything that tells you this is what you're supposed to do. The internet has lied to me. Okay, this specific toad gives you a hint about what you're supposed to do. They're living in one of the houses here, in this neighborhood. This particular neighborhood. In fact, this fucking house. Okay, I have found a hint for the location. Oh no, it's Mario! And now I have found a hint for what you're supposed to do. Cool. I feel like a fucking dumbass. What you're supposed to do from here is go into this house, and obviously, there's a shy guy that's going to come in. So how about we hide ourselves? I feel like such a dumbass. Well, here we are. And I'm going to not do that. I'm going to switch to Gumbario. Hit into the spring. Welcome to Shy Guy's Toy Box. Oh, this song isn't going to get on my nerves anytime soon, I bet. Why are there toads down here? Usually I work here at Blue Station, but since there's no train, I'm pretty much unemployed now. I love this pose. I think this might be my favorite sprite in the game. I still haven't talked about- no, I did. I talked about the, um... Mushroom incident. But I think this is my favorite sprite. I love it. Welcome to Blue Station. Um, unfortunately, I can't take you to other stations. We have the station and the tracks and everything, but the train's missing! Interesting. 
Well, we have a little guide here, so we have... Something interesting. So it's blue, pink, orange. But that's supposed to be red, but it's orange on my screen. And the button here is red. That's very strange. Anyway, let's look around. We head this way. I should have spin jumped. We were our first new enemy! I haven't healed! I saw my FP was 11 and said, yeah, that's normal. We'll take care of you and then I'll go heal. This is a shy guy! They're n n bleh. I don't ne never do wells. Big time rascals. No good. Match HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They occasionally do acrobatic attacks that have an attack power of 3. Who knows what they- bleh, what lies in the hearts of these troublemakers. I guess they're dangerous, but they're pretty small time. Yeah, these guys are basic enemies. Don't really need to worry about them too much. I mean, there's no harm. I actually wanted to see how far I can go. There's no cap on normal enemies. So they have a standard attack. Like that. There's really not much you have to worry about with these guys. Just take them out as normal. Gimbario, you can do it, I believe in you. There, he finally did it. You're the last one. And now I shall go heal. Because I'm apparently an idiot. I say apparently, but we all knew I was an idiot. And now that we're back in here, I missed something in this first room. Somewhere around here... ...is a star piece. Also, I put back on speedy spin, because holy shit, this is gonna be way faster now. Oh god, I have to deal with you again. Alright, that's his carry you. And uh, now, right here... Somewhere around- Why are you already here? I thought you were later on! Oh. Oh no. Do I want to do that this episode right now? There it is. That was what I was looking for. Uh, maple syrup hidden right there. You don't have to interact with this guy at all. Ever. Oh dear. Do I? I could! But right now? Where are my items? I'll be right back. You know what? Fuck it, we're doing this episode right here, right now. Okay, so... The guy that we just saw, the shy guy... Uh... You don't need to take it out at all. It's a completely optional mini-boss, and I was planning on fighting it much later on in this chapter. But I'm going to give this one solid attempt right now. Uh, these are my items. A bunch of super shrooms. Uh, that repel gel and this dizzy dial are going to be very useful. And then these are my badges that I'm going to be using. I put on quick change, which is going to be useful. And then everything else is pretty standard. Let's have fun. So we want to ignore the shy guy. Hmm, what do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't mess with me. It even says don't fight as the first option. I'm gonna give this a solid one. 
You wanna fight? Are you nuts? You don't wanna mess with me. Are you sure you wanna fight? What? Well, alright. I do love a challenge. Here it comes, pal. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is an anti-guy. His attacks are so intense that he's also called Deadly Guy. Max HP 50. Attack power 10. Defense power 0. His attack power is 12 when he does an acrobatic attack, so dodge it. This guy is for real, so we'd better take him seriously. Yep. Now, I don't quite know how Change Member works. I think I have to use it on their turn, so... For Quick Change, so we'll just use on this turn... A Dizzy Dial. I should mention this. Shy Guys... Shit. Are extremely, um... Susceptible to Paralysis, namely. That's the main deal here. Okay. Uh... Don't want you to do that. Let's just use a power bounce. Okay, the cap's 10. Now I'm gonna change member to bow. And he's out of sight. Alright, didn't get me. Now Bo's out for one turn, so I'll just use Power Bounce one- no. I'm gonna use the Repel Gel, so he can't hit me this turn. Wait, how long does Repel Gel last? I thought it was only one turn. Oh shit, this might be useful. Cap was lower on that one. Alright, we'll use a uh, smack. Alright, almost halfway down. And this will still miss. Okay. Then I'm going to use a Super Shroom. Go back up. And Bo will use Out of Sight. Okay. Then Power Bounce again. Really bad timing that. Why? Okay. He's at 18. But I can at least do 9 damage. Damn it! He's gonna be one away! Wait, no! I think I got this. I think I got this. No, I definitely got this. I know how to do math. So Bo's gonna be out this turn, but that's okay. No, no, do power bounce. He's gonna live this, because of the cap. That time I actually hit the timing. And he's just dead. Yes! I did it that early! All it took was one Repel Gel. And for that, you get the Power Plus Badge. Increases Mario's jump and hammer attack powers by one. That takes six BP, by the way. But holy shit. I'm gonna go heal, and then we can continue on for this episode. I thought we were gonna do that so much later. 
So when we last left off, we had just started the chapter. And now... We have another new enemy. Shit. Ah oh dear. This is a Groove Guy. Groove Guys are weird... Blah, wear weird clothes. They probably stage clothes. You know, performers. Match XP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They shake their... Really? They also spin in front of you and make you feel dizzy. These rock and rollers are a drag, so let's dish them as fast as we can. Yeah, they have an attack where they can make you dizzy. It's not fun. What he didn't mention is that Groove Guys can call for backup. Somehow I got that timing by mashing. That time I didn't. It's about two seconds after they stop in front of you. Kinda hard. But there are multiple types of Shy Guys here in Toy Box, and they can call any of them. That's why I don't think I can defend myself while I'm dazed. Keep that in mind. There we go. I actually hit the A button twice. Dodge Master is very broken, and I love it. Oh, I just realized something I forgot to do. I don't have my lovely spell. Because that ran out a while ago. And we're back. Ooh, hi. I'll take you. They just... they just really like dancing. I think there's another hidden block in this area. I didn't do with the arch? Oh god. And that's a Groove Guy calling for... Backup. This is a Medi Guy. Medi Guys are the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. Match HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. We'd better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Yep. So... Now there's an enemy that can heal everyone. I missed the timing on that horribly, and you're gonna dance again. Alright, let's get you out of the way. Alright, well now we've seen that enemy early. Now I can cut out any extra matches that have him! Yay! I swear to god if it's another healer. You die tonight. Goodbye. No one loves you. You are gone. You have been voted off the island. I still managed to miss the timing. You're dead. Be gone. Also, there was no hidden block. Hey! Extra coins, that way I can get the money back that I just spent. Our lovely spell really just pays for itself eventually. Because of the extra coins you get. Now, this room that we're in has a bunch of items everywhere. And that calculator looks a bit familiar, doesn't it? Oh, you guys are gonna play hard. Where are you? Okay, cool, this is fun. I can't... Got you. So yeah. All the enemies in here are carrying various items, but this guy has Ralph's calculator. Now that means that we can leave t the toy box and go return it after the fight. I'm really bad at timing that today. However, we're eventually going to have to go back anyway, so I'm going to hold off on returning the calculator till then. There we go. I'll take that. And then I think the other very important one is this. 
Maybe. Actually, I don't think it is, but I'm gonna... He ran into me. I'm gonna take care of all the shy guys in here anyways. I'll take that. Cake mix. That's useless to us right now, but it will be useful later on. Oh, there's another cake mix. Okay, and that's everything. Uh, I'm gonna use that right now. That mushroom. Because mushrooms are useless. We use super shrooms here. Uh... So that's everything in here, I believe. Actually, there's two things I missed. There it is. This has a freight jar. And... A mystery! Which will just do something random, and I don't want to take that risk, so I'm gonna throw that away. That's everything on this side. Let's head to the other side for a little bit. Big. And now that we're back on this screen, there's another pathway this way. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Mario hates this thing, so he'll surely turn back. Uh, I think. That doesn't look like the sort of thing that would bother Mario. I wonder if I should really trust what Peach says. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser ordered it. And he's the boss. That is the biggest not-my-job I've ever seen. So in here... Uh, it's not immediately apparent what you're supposed to do, but... Are you okay? What you can do is that these are jack in the box it I couldn't move! That locked me! Hey, you're gone. So let's just use these to get get everywhere. We the come on. We Did he get stuck? Nice. And here is another new enemy. Which I actually managed to hit. This is a Sky Guy. Sky Guys are master balloonists. Is that a word? Match XP 7, attack power 3, defense power 0. We can attack the balloon too. Once they fall, they're just like normal Shy Guys. So like Paragoombas. I wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looked awesome! Just grow wings. It's not that hard for your species, right? Ow! That's extremely fast. And I completely messed up the timing on that. You fall down. Okay, that's how I target the balloon. Balloons take no HP, they just need to be hit. And boom, they fall. And now, for some reason, they lose their slingshot. I don't know how that works, but it's Mario. If you fall from the sky, you know how, like, if you fall from heaven, you lose your wings? Uh, for Shy Guys, if you fall from the sky, you lose your slingshot. Just take them out. <laughs> Finish them off, Gambario. There we go. Man, it's... It feels good to be able to get experience and level up the way that I wished to. I can't wait to play later Paper Mario games. Okay, I like Sticker Star and Color Splash for things that they added, but even I'll admit, having a battle system where battling is completely unimportant. It's fucking stupid. By the way, Star Piece. Let's keep heading this way. Can I head in here? I can. That was actually the puzzle. I didn't realize there was a puzzle. I just, I just really wanted to do that. And that was the solution. Ouch. 
Now I can't jump. Ha, look at Goombar, you fell, idiot. How does that make you feel? Take that. And I think we need Paracarry for that. I really thought it was gonna launch me over it. Because I don't put anything past games anymore. Uh, yep. Do that. And do it again. Ooh! I'll take that. Like a thunderbolt. Tricks one enemy. Uh, we don't need both of these. Actually, I don't even use this, so fuck it. Oh no. Run, run. Okay. Because it was just gonna bounce right back into me. And... A mushroom that we don't even need. Well, I can do this. Even though we're gonna go heal soon. So I'll take that Thunderbolt. And here, it's the storeroom key. Well, we know which shop that's supposed to go to, so how about we head there? Because there's nowhere else we can go anymore. So I'll see you guys back in Toe Town. Back in Toe Town, we'll make an immediate stop to... this shop. Hey, can I get a refund on that Dizzy Dial? Because I ended up not needing it. Oh, Mario, it's you! A shy guy stole my storeroom key. Blah, blah, blah. Here you go. Alright, Mario, you did it! You got back my storeroom key! Thank you so much. You saved my livelihood. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Can I check in items first? Yes. Cool, because I don't need these cake mixes right now. And I don't need a fright jar, and that's my entire items done. That's because I needed to get rid of three items. You can get a dizzy dial, you can get a volt shroom, and you can get a snowman doll. And you can get a toy train. Could this be more than a toy? Well, we know we shrink down to the size of a toy. Also, I need to sell an item. Oh god, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do item management. <laughs> Next up on the list, since we're out here. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your dad. Here, I found a calculator for you. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, in your face, Shy Guy. I can open my shop again. Oh man, how can I repay you? I know, take this. This is a special badge, bud, so use it with care. You got the I Spy badge. A sound and icon alert you to a nearby hidden panel. So this is useful if you're having issues finding um, floor panel star pieces, or if you're just going on a hunt for them. Like I was doing last episode. Welp. Can you, uh... Can you open up the shop? Do I just have to leave the store and come back? Let me try this. Did that do it? Yes. What did I got in store? I got group focus. Uh, spin smash. And jump charge. I think all of these can only be bought here, so... Let me check. Yep. All these can only be bought here, so we'll buy this. Buy group focus lets Mario Party members use the focus command as well. Pretty useful, but I'm not going to be using it. And jump charge. When charged, Mario's jump power goes up by two. That's pretty damn useful. Alright, cool. Now, we've been doing a lot this episode, mainly because of Anti-Guy, but we've only, we haven't actually gotten far into it, so I'm going to record for a bit longer. This is going to be a pretty long episode, just because we haven't really done anything. Let's head back in. Alright, before we do what we're supposed to do, uh, I actually want to head back here to the uh, Eastward Room. 
because if I use Paracarry on this building... Star piece that I missed. Now, with that in tow, let's head back outside. So instead of hitting that spring... We can actually now use an item... ...on this. On the toy box. How that works exactly? I'm not sure. But hey, they have a train now. Now let's head back in. Okay, so... Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the track. Public transit's up and running. Now he'll tell us to determine which switch we want to use to determine where we want to go. Doesn't seem like we can head that way though, so... This way. Pink. Pink station. We're leaving. All aboard. Not as nice a train song as the one in Dry Dry Desert. Just saying. Station stop, pink station. Welcome to pink station, passengers. And now that we're here, uh, somewhere- Oh, I nailed it right then there. Star piece. And the floor panels. And this way... You got the mailbag! Return it to the post office. We'll do that later when we have to head back. So, she conjured up another item there. Uh, I actually should've chosen the Hammer Bro because I might not get an XP from it, but it is a new enemy that I could've tattled early. Oh well. That's not what I want. I want to switch back to Bo because Bo is very powerful. There are also a lot of Sky Guys here. It can heal itself?! I'm also realizing I forgot to go heal at the Toad House while I was out. Whatever. Oh, that to that's not where I thought it was going to go, but anyways, let's fight you- A button! And for defeating that particular Sky Guy, we have a chest here that has... The Defend Plus. Decreases the damage that Mario takes by one. That's not by pressing the button correctly. That's just in general. Similar to the Power Plus badge that we got from, um, Anti-Guy. I'm gonna try putting that on, so I don't need this, really. Honestly, either of these badges having on would be really good. But now we are a defensive machine, so long as I hit the button right, I can't get back. Oh, hey, I'm back. I might be stupid. It looks like we can go through there. Which we probably are. Once I figure out how to. Oh! So, do I just have to stand here? Yep. Suckers! Oh god. Beep, 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 ba deep, ba deep. Wait, where were they even coming from? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, open this chest. You get another badge! Ice Power Badge. Increases attack power against fire enemies by two. It also means that you can jump on fire enemies, it doesn't mention that. That's kinda useful. Uh, we have a Thunder Rage here. Which Kamikoopa so helpfully put down for us. And in here, you got the frying pan. Trace T's frying pan. Return it to her. Now, we could return that to her right now, but I'm going to show the use for it first. Because it's about time that we end off this episode. 
Also, thank God I can actually let us out first. With that in tow, let's head down. Uh, I thought this way. Oh, there it is. I'm like, there's definitely a way over. There's another room. And we have another enemy over there, so I should probably switch. Oh god, there's shy guys everywhere. Hey look, it's a shy guy. Oh god! They really want me dead, don't they? This is a spy guy. Spy guys look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. Match HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. You'd best try to avoid their hammer attack. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. Yep. That happens. You can just straight up lose one of your attacks. Oh yeah, we have defense plus. They can't do anything to me anymore. That was the wrong target. Whatever. Die. Be gone. I'm assuming this is defense. Cool. As if I really needed it against an enemy that has one attack power. Thank you. I'm glad you used your spell then and there instead of just giving me more star points. Real lovely. And let's just continue on. Head further this way. And... There's this guy here. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why, I'm just an ordinary food-loving Shy Guy. <sighs> I'm hungry. So you can give him any item that's food-based. Including the Thunder Rage. Uh, I'll give a maple syrup to show this off. Ah, bleh, bleh, that's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. My delicate palate is too refined to eat this stuff. Oh, you're one of those guys. I can eat only food of the finest quality or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. The rate you're going, that'll take two years. So we need... Proper food, and yeah, your item's gone. It's completely wasted. Well, we happen to know somebody who's really good at cooking. Don't we? And we'll do that next episode. Next episode, we're probably actually gonna just finish the rest of this, because... My plan for this did not include Anti-Guy. Anti-Guy just took up a lot of our time. So, yeah, we're probably actually gonna finish next episode. See you then.